So um, let's start by uh, saying, by asking this question, why should we talk at all uh, about body knowledge or motor knowledge? Why is it so important? Globally, bilingualism is a norm nowadays. So some calculations show us that almost two-thirds of children in this world are bilingual. They're speaking at least two languages. In Europe, bilingualism is another new phenomenon. And for many people, it seems like an, an odd thing to actually uh, do, to just raise children with two languages, with two more languages. But because of this, um, the, because of this, uh, you know, and, and this uh, socioeconomic, uh, let's say, uh, status at the moment, many people have uh, had to actually move uh, to live in another country. So we have this international mobility, and we have a lot of bilingual and multilingual families as a result. Um, if we now uh, turn to Greece, Bilingual children account of more than 10% of the current student population. So in average, in average we have one to four bilingual children in every classroom that they speak various languages. So Greece is a multilingual society in fact. What do we uh, when we talk about bilingualism, what are the situations that we refer to? Usually, the term bilingualism refers to two uh, main situations. In the first case, we have one parent, uh, if we're just talking about Greece at the moment, uh, that is a native speaker of Greek, and the other parent that speaks a different language. The other very common uh, scenario is that both parents uh, speak the same language, which is different from the Greek languages. We have a lot of immigrant families from Albania, mainly in Russia and many other countries. We also have this uh, third minority uh, situation in which um, we have Greek-speaking children uh, studying in an international, a bilingual or international school, like many of you may know, like this English, uh, British schools, American schools that are situated in Athens and Salonika. 